I'm 18 years old and I 3D print arms in my bedroom. In the last year, I've printed about 27 arms for people as close as Houston and as far as Sri Lanka. It's really great to be able to make it in something as small as a back room in the house. So you have a below the elbow amputation? I do, yes. Like a little bit of movement with it uh, so okay. I can bend and extend it. What we're going to do specifically for you is it's basically a, a socket fit arm. It doesn't technically replace a, a medical device. We, yeah. we like to refer to it as more of like a tool. So you're a Paralympic hopeful? Yeah, so I'm training basically for the games this year. Oh, Tough wow. times ahead in training. <laughs> That's awesome though. I definitely think I'm gonna have to use a little bit of a tougher material with this one because I think he, he might be a little bit more active than the uh, standard arm. It's just exciting then. Obviously, something different to try, so... <laughs> well, uh, hopefully everything works out for you. In a perfect world, everything will work, and it'll help him get some ability back. This is my home lab. It was my parents' spare room, and I switched it over into a lab. Since I've been growing up, I was always into just computers and technology and just experimenting with it. It's really been crazy, just the different variety of people I've gone to work with. One of the first things I did was a hand for this woman, and she was talking about how nice it was to finally hold her son again with both arms, and that was, that was really touching for me. So the most memorable one I did was the woman from Nepal. In this photo, you can actually see she's holding a spray paint can with her new prosthetic. I started, I guess, my involvement in class on Reddit and I saw this guy's post about an arm he received, and I thought, that's kind of cool. I owned a 3D printer at the time. From there is just how to print it, how to make it. This is the first test model I did with the Phoenix hand, and basically it's for anyone who has a lower wrist, whenever they bend their wrist like so, it'll close the fingers. So I volunteer with an organization called Enable. We basically just make arms and hands. It's free of charge. It's not a medical device, but it's something, it's a tool. It's something that can help you. It's given me, I guess, a good reason to do it. It's a hobby, but it's also something I can actually give back through and that it's not wasteful. I wouldn't say I'm really an unusual 18 year old. I, uh, I do this in my free time, but when I'm not here, I'm at school hanging out with my friends. So right here, this is the software I use called OpenSCAD. This is actually where we insert the parameters for the arm. That part usually actually takes a while because it's just the computer generating the actual 3D model to print for that specific measurement set. So I usually start printing just the socket because that's usually the biggest part, takes the most time. This is my full-size industrial printer. It can print basically from this height all the way down to here. So now it'll heat up to about 205 degrees Celsius. And once I actually get a print started, I'll have three or four hours before it finishes. So that's the actual path that the printer's gonna take to build that piece of the hand. That specific model should be about 738 layers of plastic. Most of the time what I'm printing with is PLA, a harder plastic. This is probably the filament I go through the most just because it is skin tone. As light as this to about as dark as my material goes. And then I have pretty much every random color you could think of. I used this for something a while back. Someone wanted like a, a bright red finger. Having arms, it's something we kind of take for granted. I really never thought about it until I started meeting the, the amputees and talking to them and just hearing about, I guess, what happened to them and seeing what pitfalls they have with their current situation. Hopefully I will continue on the business path and be able to I guess continue this work like I have. If there's something I can do to help someone, I'd love to.